<laughs> As a hairy girl, hair removal has been something that has been a big part of my life for a long time. I actually tweeted about this a few months ago. For guys, I feel like going to a barbershop, getting shaved, barbershop quartet, there's like this whole nostalgia and pampering and social element of being shaved. And for me, I'm in my shower being splashed with water or I am laying on a table with my pants off, having hot wax rip hair out of my follicles. <laughs> It's not very glamorous, to say the least. I've actually found one of the oldest barbershops in Los Angeles, the Barbershop Club at Hotel Normandy, and they've agreed to straight razor shave my legs today. I am going to be experiencing exactly what someone coming in to get a beard shaved will experience, but on my legs. Hello! Hello. Hey, buddy. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. I'm so excited to get my legs shaved. My name is Wittrell Lavelle Jr., um, third generation barber. We've been in LA for about 30 years doing this. When someone's really looking for a upscale, old fashioned, traditional shave, we always come up in that conversation. Some of the best barbers and the best shaves are actually given by women. There used to be nothing but women in barbershops. The whole staff will be female. So this is a women's razor? Right. Oh, it's so little! Right. And this is a travel size, so this is something that oh. she would keep in her purse and, and take with her. That is so cool. So where do you get these from? Oh, well, we collect them. So we're hitting up estate sales and places like that. Wow. Yeah, eBay. We're constantly watching eBay. The thing is, is that you're just going to get a way better shave with the blade that drops into this than the one that you're using that just goes into the trash and goes into a waste really? field. A waste field that doesn't get recycled. You could get about 20 shaves out of this. 20? 20 shaves out of this. Full leg. Before it goes dull. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm going to shave Michelle's legs. Have you ever shaved another woman's legs before? No. When I first learned how to shave, I started shaving on my own legs, and that was terrifying. <laughs> like with the... With the razor, yeah. Oh my god, there it is. It looks so scary! <laughs> Whenever I go get my legs waxed, I know that it's going to be painful, but I'm never really worried about blood or nicking. I don't know how frequently barbers accidentally nick the person. That seems to be a big risk compared to waxing. The cutthroat shave is usually what people are talking about when they say a straight razor shave. That actual razor was outlawed in the early 80s because of AIDS. So then they came out with the straight razor. Now the straight razor, it operates the same, but instead of just a blade that has to be sanitized and actually sharpened, it's actually disposable. It's happening? It's happening. Oh my God, this is so weird. <laughs> Wait, you're going down my leg? I'm going down. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing at home? Going down, you're going with the grain, so less ingrown hair. This is so weird. <laughs> Imagine this being on your face. The history of hair removal is actually pretty interesting. So it actually wasn't until the 1800s that non-native or white women became concerned with body hair. Also, in Charles Darwin's 1871 book, Descent of Man, claims that having more body hair actually relates to having more primitive genes. Breaking news, Charles Darwin is not as smart as we thought he was. An important distinction in this evolutionary framework was that men were supposed to be hairy and women are not. Can I feel my leg? Oh yeah, of course. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a uh, this is not the Gillette Mach 5. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Feels really good. I was expecting to feel the blade more. I feel like in the movies when they add the sound effect of the razor like it's against scraping. someone's skin and like the scraping and stuff, it makes it seem way more I don't know, like a little scarier intense than it actually is. <laughs> How about a shave? Doing a little bit of contortion to make this happen. I feel like it's just like my foot's like a violin on you and you're just like <laughs> playing it with the razor. <laughs> there was actually some guy in Iowa in the 1970s who agreed to shave a woman's legs because his business was slow and he needed to make money. It got on NPR and made a bunch of news, but that's the extent of what happened. Would you shave my mustache? You really want me to? Yeah. Sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> Ready? Okay. I'm gonna put this on first. 
<laughs> and then I'll get a hotel. Do I? Mm -mm. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go this way first. How's it feel? I don't even know. It it feels on my face. I can feel all the the hair follicles way more. Oh really? It's way more sensitive. sensitive. Not like sandpaper, mm -hmm. like a light sandpaper, but not uncomfortable. Oh okay. Oh, do I get aftershave like in Home Alone? Yeah yeah, I can do yes. that. Ah! <laughs> oh, that smells so good. You got your mustache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Today was such a cool and special experience getting my legs and mustache professionally shaved by Michelle at the Barbershop Club. I really just don't take the time when I'm shaving my legs to enjoy the process or think of it as like a self-care moment. I think of it more as a chore. And it was just really fun to hang out in this environment. I loved talking with somebody while it was happening and it being more of a shared experience and a social experience than something I'm doing really fast in the morning. I think it would be really cool to see more barber shops doing services like this because I think it was a really amazing experience and be sure to follow Barbershop Club of Los Angeles. They have a lot of really cool stuff here that I didn't even know was possible to buy. If you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was a bit different from what I usually do but please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if there's anything else you want to see me try. And as always, subscribe so we can keep on going on more adventures together. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! This is just the kind of day that you dream about When you open up your mouth A song pops out Zippity-doo-dah, zippity